Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. Sometimes what happens is you are working in your terminal and frequently navigating through the folders in your system. And suddenly you realize that you have to edit the files of that folder using IntelliJ IDEA. So you open IntelliJ from applications and in that again navigate to that folder from the finder window to click open it. But did you realize you just did a rework to navigate to that folder and open files of that? To avoid this rework you could have used IntelliJ command line script. So in this video I will let you know how you can use the IntelliJ command line script to open files from the command line. So let's get started. So by default IntelliJ IDEA doesn't provide command line launcher to launch any files using IDEA script. So we will have to create that script. So if you check IDEA dot it says command not found because this script does not exist. So what we will have to do we will have to create this script in user local bin folder. So navigate to this directory and inside this if you see some scripts are already there. So we will have to create one idea script. So let's create one idea script. So if you don't have the permission use sudo to create that file and check if that file is created. So you can see idea is there. So now we have to edit this file to make it executable for IntelliJ. So what we will have to do, we will have to sudo vi idea. So here we have to add this script. This is the script we need. We have to open IntelliJ idea CE app. You will have to copy this name from your application folder. So just go to your application folder and find IntelliJ IDEA and copy this name to your script. So in my case that was same. So save it. Now you can see IDEA is there but if I try to do IDEA dot it says permission denied. So we will have to make it executable. We will have to give executable permission. So what we will do ch mode plus x and we will give executable permission to idea file. So it says operation not permitted you will again have to use sudo. So it is now ready to execute. So we will again go to our project folder. So this was the folder I was trying to open using terminal. So let's try now. So now you can see one new instance of IntelliJ IDEA is open with the my project the folder in which I did idea dot I run this command idea dot in my project folder. There is another way to create IDEA script is using JetBrains toolbox. You just have to install this JetBrains toolbox. So go to the JetBrains.com and install the toolbox for your machine. So I have downloaded this JetBrains toolbox. Double click on it to install it. You have to drag it in applications folder and it is ready to use. So now go to spotlight search and type toolbox. Click on JetBrains toolbox. Click on open. So this toolbox will be open here. So here you have to go to this settings and in the settings go to tools and here generate cell scripts. You have to toggle it. 
so shell scripts will be generated here in this directory so just go to this directory and check if a script is generated or not check the contents of this directory you can see idea script is already there now go to our project folder and do idea dot there you can see it's working other bunch of options you can use with this idea command like you can open a specific line number of a file like we have this pom.xml here so let's first check this let me open it for you and if we see the line number so here are the line numbers and if you want to open the IntelliJ this file with the cursor at this line number at 11 so what we will do we will write idea with line options with line number 11 and of this file so it will take me to the line number 11 of pom.xml file so now you can also see the diff of two files to see the diff of two files let us first create a backup file and edit this pom.backxml So this is just for example I am doing, I am making changes in pom.xml, I am giving the artifact id my project to. So now we can see we have two files and we want to show, we want to see the diff of these files. So what we will do, idea diff of pom.xml and pom back.xml once you press enter it will show you the diff of two files so you can see here is the change from pom.xml to pom back.xml there is another option in which you can install the plugin just by plugin id from here command line so for that what you will have to do is to get the plugin id of that plugin to install the plugin from command line go to that plugins page and scroll down to find the plugin id so this is the plugin id of this plugin you will have to copy this id and paste it in the command and run the command after a few seconds open your IntelliJ and see if this plugin is installed or not go to file settings go to plugins install plugins and you can see docker plugin is there so that's all for this video let me know in the comment section which option you found the most useful and stay tuned for the more interesting tips and tricks videos. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Rex Rahul. Mm -hmm.